Alright, some guy just sliced his wife's throat earlier today um, in front of daycare. Six o'clock in the morning at daycare while she's dropping the kids off at daycare. I'm not going to comment on the news. Um, that's not why I turn my camera on. I'm right now in the midst of painting a, I'm painting the dining room wing of the house. You know all those videos that you've seen me do where I'm like sitting and you can see the kitchen in the background. I'm painting that area of my house right now. So um, let me get to the point. I'm tired of hearing about fucking bailouts. Now, they want to give the banks the money to do with it as they please. They're not going to buy people's mortgages. Fine. Why don't you give the money in the form of a fucking blank check to each American citizen? And they will take that to their own fucking mortgage holder and pay their fucking mortgage off. And if they write any number in there over the number that is needed to pay this mortgage off, the United States government needs to go after these motherfuckers. And for the people who don't have homes, give them some money so they can go out and spend some money. If these people don't have all these exorbitant bills and shit to pay, then they will have money freed up to start new businesses. Instead of giving these banks all this money, why don't you give all this money to the people so then the people have to run to the bank to deposit this money? Use the basic knowledge. You give the money to the people, they're going to spend it. You're not going to give some money to any American with a Social Security card that's going to send it out of this country. If you want to help the American people, you want to give us a stimulus package, you want to fucking help us and bail us out, give us the money. Show us the money. Give us the money. And then we will then give it to the banks. What kind of sense doesn't this make to you? Giving the banks the money is not going to help the people. Shut the fuck up. I'm doing a video. Please. You people out there do not understand what they're doing with our money. I paid into that shit. You might not say I have the, the greatest job on the fucking planet Earth. You might not say that I paid that much into it. What little I fucking paid into it. I don't want to give them to the bank. Give it to me and I'll put it in the bank I want to put it in. If you want to give the American people a real stimulus package, stimulize our economy. We make the world go around. What kind of bullshit you doing? Giving banks money, giving the auto companies money, and when you run out of money to give people and the supermarkets need money, you're not going to bail the supermarkets out because the American people cater to the supermarkets. If we can go get some food to eat, whoa, no, heaven forbid us be healthy enough to live through this thing. Come on, man. What kind of bullshit packages you guys giving us? We offer the money up to you. Trillions of dollars come up missing. We give you a hall pass. Money still missing. Then you decide, nah, we're not going to buy off people's mortgages. You weren't buying off the people's mortgages anyway. You were going to give this money to these banks and the people still owe the fucking mortgages. How are you going to pay off my or mortgage and I still owe the bank? Where's the logic in that, people? A lot of people need to wake up. I'm not saying you just need to go around and just pay everybody's mortgage, but if everybody didn't have to worry about a roof over their head, how fast do you think the economy would turn around? Think about it. If you exonerate our debt, tell the banks, okay, this one is good, 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 wipe that out, we'll pay for those. This one is good, this one is good, this one is good, and then us people who you're paying our mortgages off, We'll give you an extra 10%. Yeah. You know the homeowner's tax? A tax because you own a home? We'll give you an extra 10%. You pay all that shit off. But no, that's not enough. That's not enough. You have to owe somebody so they can owe somebody so they can owe us. Give us the money. We give it to them and they end up having to give it to you. Give us a shitload of money so we can start new businesses. And then once they fail, big companies can scoop them up. Do it. Make the American dream happen. Don't make people dream for a dream. Make it happen. I'm fucking 40 years old. All you get dreaming is rest. 
What happens while you're dreaming? You are asleep. Wake up, people. Don't go to sleep and dream about having something. These people take our money and have been taking our money for generations. Taxes and this. Oh, we're building new streets. You can't prove it to me. Every time you put in a new road, you put a star in it and charge people money for driving in it. How is that helping the American people? Shit. Bail us the fuck out. I'm sorry. People say I use language. This is the language they taught me. They taught me to be a frustrated American. Why can't I get ahead? Because every time I get a job, it leaves town. I've been there two years. Where are you going? Unemployment office. Why? My job left town. I didn't move out of town. The job did. Help the fucking banks for what? We pay our fucking mortgages and our bills and the banks are going down? Help them for what? What happens when you're renting a room from somebody and they lose the house? You get kicked out. I'm paying my mortgage, the bank loses its shit, why in the fuck should I get kicked out? Bail the people out, then the people will bail the banks out. You give somebody a check for $315,000. All their life, all they've ever had at one given time was seventy or 80000 And all of a sudden, well, I'm going to start that little business. And regardless whether that business win or fail, whatever you give the average American, he will give it back to you. And the dumb ones will spend that shit. Then what happens? Every penny that you give the people hits the markets, the banks, rent gets paid, PG&E gets paid. What happened to PG&E when they came and told you on Capitol, yeah, we screwed people. No problem. We screwed people. Come right back, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you out, man. I'm just trying to get more money. I'm trying to get more money from this uh, uh, from the government for our stimulus package. I'll be back. Okay. You know they want to give us sixty dollars this time stimulus. Yeah. Yeah. So then you talk about jobs. You got Japanese people over there about to start rolling out these cars that run on water. I hate to have to say it. Steal the idea for these engines and build the engines to go in our pre-existing cars. Send people to work. Have a plant over in California that makes nothing but the little top to go on the top. Have a plant over here in Michigan that makes nothing but the bottom half to water tray to hold the water. You have all these different plants all over the place. Put people to work. You want to get these people some money for building the same car. You better tell them to try to build them cars made on water that we won't be able to afford. Ford, but everybody deserves a fucking bailout. But the only people that actually need to receive the bailout is the people. Why don't you just reset? Once the stock market crash, boom, reset shit. You own this house. You have to pay taxes on this house. That's it. Real estate would boom. Because now people own their homes. Now they would, they, I, I can actually pay my yearly taxes on this and try to buy another house. Start, reset this motherfucker. If you don't want to help the people, keep all the money you have, reset it. The big banks don't owe you money. We don't owe the banks money. We don't owe for that $50,000 car that's only worth $10,000. We don't owe for that $400,000 house that's only worth $140,000. If you paid it off, it's paid off. That's done. Let's move on. Reset America. Bail us the fuck out. Let's have a grand reset. Reset America. And then business, bam. I would even be able to start a small business. If you don't fucking outsource me. Shit, I'm, I'm pissed off, man. Bail us out.
You've been too.